Hey students, how are you? Uh, this kind of a joking question, sir, right? Because no, this time, how can you be all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm, this is a situation of uh, pandemic in the whole world, really. Coronavirus, you know very well. And COVID-19, the disease made by this coronavirus. Okay? But on the situation, like as public school and college, um, this authority trying to do their best to uh, make you education uh, with the help of internet and with this online system. Okay, so for that part of an education, um, I'm Tisha Kandidash. You know very well about me. I'm the student teacher of Lakers Public Student College. Uh, I'm going to start today um, about the main thing, main thing of a, of, of a sentence that is called verb. Okay? That is called verb and you know very well that it's actually the heart of the sentence. And um, without this, no sentence can be meaningful and can be uh, fulfilled, you know. Right? So, uh, before starting that, uh, I think you all know about the first speech of a sentence. There's eight first speech, eight kinds of that first speech. One of them is verb. Okay? So, actually, what is verb? Okay? First question is what is verb actually? Verb is, is verb is a word. It can, um, it can purify a sentence, it can make a sentence and with this word, no meaningful sentence can be made. Now, of course, there are exceptions, um, exception of course, exception is uh, uh, all of the places, okay? So, we are going to this class um, about this verb, okay? So, look at the board, I think it is uh, not so clear to you. Okay, uh, this verb is actually, it has, it has uh, two hands, especially two hands, they are, uh, one is, one is finite, and another is non-finite, got it? One is finite and the other is non-finite. You will get this um, Bangla in, in that picture I will show in the video. Okay? Finite and non-finite. Uh, what is finite actually? Finite uh, it is, it is a verb which can complete a sentence. It is a verb which can complete a sentence. Actually, um, it is help. It can, it can help to make a sentence meaningful. It can help. Uh, to make a sentence meaningful and of course completed clear yeah. so with this finite no no sentence can be made actually clear yeah. and this finite has two hands also another is principle and other is auxiliary got it principle verb and Auxiliary verb. But uh, other grammarians say that uh, mm, actually there are five types of verbs that is, action verbs, um, auxiliary verbs, I mean, helping verbs, transitive, intransitive, and of course, linking verb. They are the same many uh, situations, it can, it can continue their uh, structures, it can continue their um, system. But I uh, will show you. I'll show you here that actually what is verb and you can find out uh, by seeing this video that what is actually which verb is uh, what kinds of um, uh, meaning can be can be can be created yeah? okay principal verb it has two hands also that is transitive and intransitive yeah? 
transitive and intransitive. This verb has two hands. Uh, transitive and intransitive. So what is the principal verb actually? What is principal verb? Principal verb is a verb which has its own meaning. Okay? Which has its own meaning and it can it can complete a sentence without taking help from other verbs. Okay? That means I eat rice, they, can, uh, they, they go to school, um, they eat rice, okay? They catch fish, okay? They are catch, eat, go, they're all trans uh, principal verb and they don't take or they don't need to take another verb's help. Clear? Yeah. Actually, what is principal verb? Which verb has its own meaning? Okay, and it has two hands one is transitive and another is intransitive. Transitive means a principal verb, it is also a principal verb, but which has its own object. Which has which verb has its object, it is called transitive, and which hasn't any object, meaningful object, that is not. Intransitive. That is intransitive. Auxiliary verb. It has two hands also. One is primary auxiliary, and another is modal. Another is models. Okay. I'll show you that auxiliary. Uh, I have shown already already shown you that auxiliary verb has two hands. One is primary, and another is models yeah i will describe it on the next class that which is uh, really what are they and you can do it next class means no next class this uh, next session uh non-finite verb non-finite verb actually it is uh, that kind of verb which which can't make a sentence fulfill which can't make a sentence fulfill or which can't make a sentence complete with the help of finite verb. Okay, it can only use uh, use in a sentence um, to make a sense to make a sense of this sentence of that sentence um, with, the, with the with the describing the describing level of that situation. Clear? Yeah. Okay, that is only used to make the finite. Uh, verb collected sentence to be meaningful only. That means it can't complete a sentence without without the help of final verb. Okay, it can only use a sentence in a sentence um, as a supporting verb. Okay, non-final verb has three hands. Okay, non-final verb has three hands. One is Participle, another is gerund, and another is infinity. Infinity. I think it is not clear to you, but I said you before that uh, it will be to be added in the video. Yeah, no problem. Participle has three hands also. One is present participle, past participle, and the last one is perfect participle. Okay? Participle has three hands present participle, past participle, and perfect participle. That is the actually main structure of verb, no, sorry, main kinds of verbs. It is the main kinds of verbs, finite verb. It has two hands, principal and auxiliary. Principal has two hands, transitive and intransitive. Auxiliary has two hands also, primary and models. Now, final verb has three hands, participle, gerund, and infinitive. Participle has three hands, present, past, and perfect participle. Okay? So, I will now, I will go details to, uh, from principal verb. This main thing of a verb in part principal verb. Principal verb, what is principal verb? Which verb 
has its own meaning and can express or complete an action of a sentence without taking help of others okay which verb has its own meaning and can express or complete an action of a sentence without taking help of other verbs okay i will show the example of this I told you before that all other things you will get in the video as a picture okay so that is example suppose the I eat rice to they play football Okay, we'll get the example of this principal verb. Yeah, I eat rice. Okay, here it is the principal verb because it can complete the sense of this sentence. The play football, the play football, the subject here is play, and the I, and uh, with this verb, they can complete their action. Okay. I eat rice, they play football. Here, play, eat, they are also principal verb. Clear? Look, they have an you know, object. That means, what are they doing? What are they doing? They have, they have an object. Uh, each of this, I eat rice, and what do? What do I do? I eat rice. That means, rice is the main thing. What are I? What am I doing? And they play football. What are they doing? They play football. With this football, they are completing their action. Okay, so this play and eat, they are both transitive verb. I have told you before that they are transitive verb because they have object. They have object. I told you that. Which principle of have, which principle verb has object, an object, it is called transitive verb. But which principle verb don't have any, suppose birds fly in the sky. Birds fly in the sky. Birds fly. What are they doing? They are flying. Okay, but what do they do? They are flying. So, that is not an object. That is extension of this sentence. So, it is this car fly is intransitive. Is intransitive. Principal verb has uh, another meaning, another word, another meaning. It is called action verb. Okay, it's called action verb because it can complete an action. It can complete the action of uh, sentence. So it is called principal verb. Now we will see an auxiliary verb. What does an auxiliary verb do? Auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. I told you before that what is an auxiliary verb? An auxiliary verb is a verb um, who is has uh, not its own meaning and can complete a sentence without uh, uh, without the help of uh, sorry it can complete as it can't complete a sentence like it can complete a sense of a sentence it can only help the principle verb okay because it has no special meanings look suppose
I am eating rice. I am eating rice. Clear? Here, am is an auxiliary verb, but it has no meanings of its own. Yeah? I am eating rice. It has no meaning of it own, but it, it is a principal verb. It has meaning. Okay, I am eating rice. What, uh, what are I, uh, what am I doing? I am eating rice. These kinds of questions, I will answer that. And two, they are, they uh, are uh, helping each other. They are helping each other. Okay. They are helping each other. Here, where is an auxiliary verb and help is of course a principal verb. Okay. And two, three, uh, she can do the work. She can do the work. Here, can is an auxiliary verb and two is a principal verb. Look, every time you are saying this, um, find is this uh, 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 principal verb, and am or can, they are only helping this principal verb to make a sense of this sentence. Okay, and this auxiliary verb has two hands. I told you before that it has two hands also, and they are primary, primary. Primary auxiliary, they are, am, is, are, was, are, have, has, have. Some grammarians say that uh, this am is or, this am is or, was or, is to be verb and have, has, had, they are to have verb. Okay? They are all primary auxiliaries. So, what are the characteristics of this or what are the features of their of, of the of the primary auxiliaries? Okay, they have a special feature, you know. Um, what kind of feature is this? Because I am eating rice. They have done the work and she uh, uh, mm, mm, she had she had uh, sang a song sang a song look had have and they are all primary auxiliaries what is the main feature of this it can't stay the uh, main or principal verb its own place okay the existence of a uh, principal verb is already finished because uh, they have taken they have taken a tail uh, tail after them look it they are not it right now this it has it has taken ing i am eating rice they have done not do, they have done, do have, we changed here, has done, past participle, she had sung a song, sung, it is, uh, it is, it is taken from sing, the past participle form, because uh, to be, to be uh, made of this meaningful sentence, it has uh, changed. So, what is the main feature? Primary auxiliaries um, uh, can give a chance, can give a chance to a principal verb to make, uh, to stay their own places. Okay, to stay their own places, they change the real verb, they change the principal verb actually. So, they are very special, they, they, are, they are very special as a primary auxiliary, they are very special because they can't uh, give a scope to stay their own places, I mean to stay the principal verb's own places, okay? They uh, don't give their such kind of um, 
dalam skate ini. Okay. So, what is models? We will see what is models. Actually, this kind of education, uh, online education, I think um, it is easy to say, it is easy to talk uh, in front of you better than online class because um, I can make any kinds of sense to improve the situation by saying or by asking any kinds of questions to you. So, um, but we have to do this because um, the situation is very uh, abnormal, very um, critical and uh, we can't do anything um, without this so uh, we are doing this so please uh, students uh, take your own position how to make yourself to uh, sit for the exam uh, from this after 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 this pandemic situation okay so models can good may might shall should will would uh, must had to dare to ought to need to they are all models you know? Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, have to, get to, ought to, need to, they are all, um, they are all models. Look, I am sweating. Mm. I told you before that it is very much a uh, number of situation to me to hold these kinds of class uh, in front of a camera. There is only a camera but no uh, students uh, in front of me, so it is not so easy. To take any class without students okay fine models they have special situation uh, special uh, feature these models is actually uh, they have a special feature that it can't it can't um, change the principal verb of a sentence when they are used in a sentence and uh, they can express their feelings they can express their action uh, without changing the principal verb in a sentence, suppose, uh, suppose I can do the work. I can do the work. Look, can is models here, and do is unchanged. Okay, there is no change. She will help me. She will help me here. Will is models and help is principal verb and it is unchanged also. Uh, they they need to do this. They need to do this here. Need to is also also models. Okay. So this is the specially uh, finite verb. Um, hands we have we have learned today and of course uh, it will be continued because the next class we will discuss about non-finite verb and um, of course that time if you have any questions on this finite verb I will try to uh, uh, solve it or I will try to make my best to help you um, on the next class from next class uh, in the next class, uh, we will uh, discuss about the other parts of English. Especially, this verb is very much important because it is the heart of a sentence. So you should you should learn it very carefully. If you want to um, converse with anyone fluently, anyone without any um, uh, anywhere, any any embankment with you, uh, any uh, this. Uh, the situation um, then you have to learn this verb very well and of course 
we have to be perfect on uh, vocabulary, uh, vocabulary knowledge. You have to learn a lot of words if you want to talk uh, to others, talk with the other people, and if you want to um, converse with anyone, uh, converse with any person who is uh, very uh, fluent in English, then you have to learn verb as much as you can. Okay, so. Uh, if you uh, need to know any kinds of questions, he will, um, he will, he will phone me, he will call me, I mean with mobile, mobile 018203622212 or any other number, uh, uh, another number is uh, 0156534858, okay, so we will see next class, um, on this class, I will say goodbye. Thank you very much.